Oma Rogers, Jesse 23, and of course, uh, Jesse 2, Odor Michael. Tasca being the home team. Gormaya uh, will have Gad Matthews uh, in goal. Geoffrey Cheng, Filemon Otieno, Dennis Njire, Owino Sylvester, Ernest Uwendo, Wahongo Sydney, Omondi Bonfas, Benson Omala, and uh, Austin Odiambo together with uh, Loasa will uh, be doing duty today. And uh, yes, we know these teams have met 96 times uh, and uh, they have drawn 37 times. Uh, Tasca has uh, won uh, uh, 36 times, Gormaya 33 times. And uh, yes, Katima seems to be so good on paper. Right now they are leading the league. And uh, this is a top of the table clash. We call it Super Sunday here because uh, uh, this game uh, is uh, the decider. If you ask me today, this game is going to be the decider. And uh, whoever wins here today is uh, assured of some good run uh, in the remaining fixtures. Uh, that is uh, uh, three games to go right now. And uh, we are at Nyan National Stadium. Uh, I can see the Green Army already coming in droves. Uh, I can see also CSR. Uh, CICT, this is Eliud Owalo in attendance together with the former Prime Minister and the club patron for Gormai, Raila Molodinga, all of whom have come into this game now and uh, it's promising to be a cracker. This one is going to be a cracker today and uh, these two teams have very good records. Remember, Tasca are seeking to do uh, what is supposed to be a hat trick of championships. They've been uh, twice and I can see I'm free Oh, Tieno Mieno in jersey number 30 will captain the side. And uh, Philemon Mbish or Tieno na on uh, jersey number 26 will uh, be captaining the Gormaya side. Yes, sir. Uh, there is everything to fight for. Though uh, it is told by FKF that there will be no money for the victors here in this league. Quite uh, a bizarre situation in football, if you ask me. But then uh, that is what is uh, uh, the hallmark of Kenyan football as it is right now. Yes, that was uh, the Gormaya anthem uh, being played. That was the uh, Gormaya anthem uh, uh, being played over there. And uh, if you can see from uh, the footages, uh, the fans have uh, come up uh, in uh, very good numbers. And yes, uh, the team choir is well represented there. And uh, it's going to be uh, a cracker, a cracker of a match. This is... Uh, Kenya Premier League uh, match uh, number 31, uh, Gormaya versus uh, Tasca. Remember, two weeks ago, Gormaya lost here to Mashimeji Derby for the first time in seven years, and it's promising to be a cracker. I can see Lwasa Peter here, and uh, Tasca are ready for this. Uh, the center referee is uh, just getting ready to start in the next two minutes, and yes, we will uh, be giving you this one live. Uh, as uh, it goes on. Yes, uh, Tasca will be playing from left to right and uh, Gormaya will be playing from uh, right uh, to left. Uh, well, Tasca again will begin this match. I can see in jersey in number uh, jersey number 19 uh, will be Eric Mata will be doing uh, the duty to start off the game. And yes, Omala is still in the hunt for the Golden Boots, followed closely by Elfis uh, Rupia of Kenya Police. I can see jersey number 10 uh, Mata Eric as well. Uh, just uh, preparing to go. It is JZ number 10 versus JZ number 10. Peter Lwasa for Gormaya. And yes, the kickoff is here. Gormaya start against Tasca. And uh, Tasca have launched the first attack of the game in the first uh, minute. Right on the flank. Right on the flank. But then uh, it goes out. 
Tasca showing uh, very early into this encounter that they would want to win this game. Coach Matano knows uh, this Kenya Premier League well. He's a seasoned uh, tactician. He will be doing uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, borderline or technical area instructions, same as Jonathan Monkey's of Gormaya. Played by Garda, gotten by Peter Luasa. Luasa has the ball, plays uh, Simiti Joffrey. Joffrey lobs a long one that finds Omala. And Omala shoots there, gets out. A good shot, but VS off target. Benson Omala also showing very early into the game that uh, they want to win this game. This is the top of the table clash between Gormaya and uh, Tasca. Tasca are leading the log uh, and they are leading Gormaya by just uh, one point right now. Dennis Njire has made a fast throw to goalkeeper Gad Matthews. Gad Matthews plays Sylvester Owino in uh, defense. Owino plays uh, Dennis Njire. Njire has the ball. Njire plays uh, uh, Simiti Joffrey Ocheng. Joffrey plays Loasa in midfield. And a long one is uh, given. However, uh, Bajaj is not able to handle that pressure. Back uh, Tasca. Levin Joseph has the ball. Lobs a long one that again uh, Loasa has uh, intercepted by Ocheng Joffrey. As it Loasa and as to Wendo. Philemon Otienombish. Plays Dennis Njire. Njire finds Luasa, but the ball uh, doesn't uh, do well. Uh, the coordination between Luasa and Austin Odiambo, not quite, uh, not quite uh, the understanding we expect out of them. And the ball goes out for a throw. The referee, however, points at uh, <laughs> a late, late, late attack. Uh, this is going to be a free kick. A rather a bizarre call because it took some time to make that decision. And uh, yes, it will be a free kick taken uh, by Tasca. Tasca here. Taking uh, a long one uh, via Thomas Ateka. And he's headed out. A long one that again, uh, Amfri Ocheng Mieno, formerly of Gormaya, tries a shot outside the 18 area but uh, didn't uh, really trouble goalkeeper Gad Matthews. Uh, remember, we are at Nyayo National Stadium. I'm uh, Nick Okello bringing you this encounter live uh, from uh, this uh, very end. Uh, the stadium is uh, getting uh, packed uh, by time. And now Gad Matthews uh, seeks to find Omala, but uh, not uh, really well. Moni Kevin plays it out. The ball is in midfield. Uh, Wendo takes it. Wendo takes it. He goes down, but the referee plays uh, waves, plays on. Plays play on rather. On the left side. Tasca still has the ball. Not able to execute uh, a good uh, cross. Uh, that is uh, Siwa Shapana. The ball uh, the ball goes out for a for a, a throw. And uh Geoffrey Ching Simiti throws it back uh, to Gad Matthews in goal. Well, uh, if you're joining right now, this is a uh, live commentary, Gormaya versus uh, Tasca FC, played here at the Nyayo National Stadium. And uh, yes, the game has just begun. And Jiro Dennis does uh, a bad pass that uh, gets uh, Eric uh, Ateka. Uh, Teka Humphrey Mieno versus Sydney Wahongo. Mieno goes down and, uh, well, uh, it's a foul. Amfri Mieno, quite experienced player in the Kenya Premier League. And that is a, uh, uh, a good cross that, uh, well, uh, some little trouble for Gorm. The ball plays here and it goes out. Well, uh, Gormaya looking a bit shaky in the uh, first ten, uh, uh, the first minute of this game. This is... Uh, Expected because uh, for two weeks they've not been played. Uh, they've not been playing any competitive games right now. But then uh, now they have to face uh, Tasca, who are on duty last weekend and have been uh, playing competitive matches time to time. Geoffrey Ching plays it to Gad Matthews. 
Gad Matthews to Sylvester Owino. Owino finds uh, Bajaj. Bajaj is dispossessed uh, and the referee waves uh, play on. The ball goes out uh, for a play, for, for, for a throw rather, from uh, Sylvester Owino. First one has been taken. Tasca launching an attack here. A good cross on this other end, uh, but Geoffrey Cheng Simiti heads it out uh, for a corner. The first corner for Tasca in the first seven minutes of the game. First corner for Tasca. Tasca will be taking their first corner. Dennis Njire. Goalkeeper Bure Bryan attempted uh, to punch it, but uh, he was infringed upon. He takes a quick one, but uh, hits uh, Omala and goes out again for goal kick. Yes, the ball is in the middle now by Tasca to Ocheng. Ocheng to Njire. Njire plays goalkeeper. Gad Matthews. Gad Matthews seeking Loasa, but uh, the Tasca defense deals well uh, with the ball. Loasa has the ball right now in goal. Uh, for goal, my hand is supposed to be a goal, but. Uh, a very good execution, not well connected uh, by Boniface uh, Omondi. Indeed, uh, if he had his head uh, in the right position, that would be a goal. Another attack here, another goal, but no! Austin uh, misses uh, a huge one. An open chance for Gormaya in the first uh, 10 minutes of the game. Dennis Njire in defense now with the ball, plays a long one, does well. Dennis Njire. Plays a long one there again. Omala has the ball. But uh, doesn't uh, really get it. Such an interesting game if you ask me now. An attack to Gormaya right now. Tasca doing a good one but uh, Geoffrey Ocheng Simiti stands tall. It is attack after attack. Indeed this is the top of the table clash for Kenya Premier League. Top of the table clash for Kenya Premier League. And uh, now is our second corner in the 10th minute, rather the 11th minute of the game. To be taken by Tasca now. To be taken by Tasca now. A long one taken there. Still with Tasca. Amfri Mieno in midfield does a long one and a good one indeed, but uh, goes out. Goes out. It will be a throw. Uh, Jesse, number 511, uh, Joseph, wasn't able to deal with that. And now Geoffrey Cheng Simiti takes a throw in. Gad Matthews has the ball. Clears a big one into midfield, taken by Bajaj. Not well done. Levin Joseph again brings a long cross that uh, is judged offside on the side of Tasca. Yes, uh, just like I said at the beginning of this game, this is going to be a hot uh, top of the table clash between Gormaya. Remember, whoever wins here has. Uh, improved chances of clinching the league with only two or three games remaining to the end of the season. Uh, Sydney Wahongo in jersey number 21 for Gormaya leaves the throw in for Geoffrey Ocheng Simiti. Ocheng throws this but uh, played out again. Well, if you're joining us right now, we are doing uh, minute number 12 of 12 minutes of the game and Geoffrey Ocheng Simiti is planning to execute a long throw here. He's going to be very good in doing long, long, long throws. 
Let's see how he deals with this now. And there he goes. That's a long one into Tasca defense, but uh, not cleared well. Uh, but then Tasca now clear off their lines. A counter attack will be launched here by uh, the Tasca team. A good counter attack, but uh, is not uh, able to really have it. And now Gormaya play it well, and it goes out the field of play. It will be a throw in for. Gorma here. Well, I can see there's a problem uh, on the touchline. Gormaya side uh, are complaining about something. I can see Coach Makitri getting agitated and speaking to the fourth official. And uh, the team manager, again, uh, Victor Nyaoro, also is speaking to something here. Something seemed to be wrong uh, in this field of play. The game has been stopped a little bit. And uh, seems there's a scaffold between players. I'm free Mieno there. I can see Amfri Mieno, Austin, uh, being spoken to by the referee. Dennis Njiri as well has been called. It is number three versus number three. Mumani again, jump stall, and uh, Njire miscues this one, and uh, Simiti jumps to the rescue. Austin uh, and uh, Amfri Mueno. And Sydney Waongo plays it out of the field of play. A very first one has been played here. First one has been played here, but uh, uh, not too well cleared still. Not too well cleared, but uh, now Gormaya clear now. It is uh, with Luasa. Luasa plays to Omala, but uh, Omala is not found in his position for Thomas Teka. Thomas Teka plays Buire, Buire plays Teka again. And now, it's a header, a throw in to Gormaya. Well, uh, Siwa Shapan has been really finding it hard uh, to penetrate uh, on this left wing uh, that is manned by Geoffrey Cheng in midfield. Now gives a long one uh, that uh, finds uh, Philemon Otieno. Otieno the captain, but uh, unable to dribble adequately. And the ball goes out of the field of play. Very first one is thrown in to Momani. Momani finds Joseph uh, uh, again. Joseph again with the ball. Tasca enjoying some, uh, quite some good run here. A long one uh, lobbed, but uh, then uh, the lineman uh, says uh, it's offside. To be taken by guard. We are doing minute number 13, uh, number 18 of this game. And Bajaj and Omala here, but again, uh, Levin Joseph. Levin Joseph to me has been everything good about this team, Tasca, this afternoon. Well, in midfield. Amfri Mieno, not able to have it. Not able to have it, but then uh, <laughs> Ernest Wendo, uh, I call him uh, Kifaru. You know, Kifaru is a buffalo. He's got the energy, the physique, and uh, he loves uh, actually taking uh, this kind of encounters where it's physical. And uh, he wins this in midfield, and Dennis Njire will be executing a uh, free kick. Dennis Njire plays again NS to Wendo. Wendo plays to Sylvester Owino. Owino plays his captain, uh, Philemon Otieno. And Philemon plays it again out uh, for throw-in. For a throw-in. And now, back to Buire Brian. Thomas Ateka and Amfri Mieno is being tackled so ferociously by Ernest Wendo. Remember, at one time, these two players were playing for Gormaya. They are teammates. They know one another so well. Dennis Njire will be playing this against Otieno Eric. And the ball goes out the field of play. 
Otieno Eric has fouled Dennis Njire. And now it will be taken by Geoffrey Ocheng Simiti. God now planning to take a long one. I can see Coach Matano the Lion here. Omala out jumped. It's with the task again. It is Mata Eric. Mata Eric plays in the midfield, finds uh, Humphrey Mieno. Mieno Joseph Levin. Joseph Levin not able to really go past his marker. And now it's Boniface Bajaj who really collides with Momani. Momani plays it out. It's going to be a throw in now. A first throw in here. Play to Sylvester, number 15 in Gormaya side. God now releases uh, Loasa. Loasa plays one uh, that is nice, but uh, again, Levin Joseph stands tall here. Bajaj has the ball, but he's been pulled down. And it's a foul towards Tesco side. Well, uh, I can see Dennis Njire moving in there. A free kick has been won by Gormaya. The team captain, Philemon Mbish Otieno, right there, has taken a long one towards Austin, uh, but it goes out begging. Goes out begging. And now, here, Loasa will uh, really look for the ball. Ball given uh, to Moni Kevin. Moni Kevin plays it out. Well, I can see the Gormaya side winning the physical, uh, uh, I mean the physical uh, uh, contest here against Tasca. A throw in that has been given. Taken again, and Wendo in midfield. Where next Wendo plays Austin. Austin now finds Omala. And uh, well, uh, it's offside. Omala is adjudged uh, to be offside. And Momani Charles once again stands tall. Again, Momani is a former Gormaya player who knows how Gormaya do their business. And the ball goes, uh, the ball now will be taken by Kevin Buire, the goalkeeper for Tasca. Lobs a long one uh, that uh, is uh, defended well uh, by Dennis Njire. Taken uh, by Siwa Shipan. And goes out. Well, uh, a long throw has been given there. But uh, it's uh, a goal kick. Uh, Moni Kevin throws in uh, a long, long one. Bolia seeking uh, to find Luasa, but uh, Luasa doesn't really uh, seem to be there. And uh, it's uh, a dangerous one here. Very dangerous, but cleared by Gormaya. Wong Waongo Sydney. Sydney Waongo plays Luasa. Luasa goes down, and the referee definitely will give that as a foul. Well, Thomas Seca fouls uh, Luasa who had neatly dodged him and was charging forward. The ball goes in, and I wonder why it's being taken so hurriedly for no purpose, at least. Again, Luasa wins uh, a very good free kick, then uh, just does a very careless uh, free kick, I mean. Wins a good foul, but then does a very bad free kick. In midfield now, Geoffrey Ching plays Ernest Wendo. Wendo, Wendo goes down. But Dennis Njire is there. Njire now finds uh, Bonfast Bajaj. And Levin uh, Joseph will be battling again uh, with Bajaj. They've had uh, an afternoon really to really look up to. The game is on here in midfield for Tasca. Tasca again here. Playing so well in midfield. Dispossessed. Wahongo Sydney finds Austin Odiambo. Odiambo Austin. Austin Odiambo plays Bajaj. Bajaj with the ball. 
Uh, but the edge of the ball doesn't really shoot well as intended. And uh, now we'll really have to dilly dally and uh, bring the ball back all the way to Owino Sylvester. To Dennis Njiri now. Njiri has the ball. Njiri presses, but uh, again, the pass doesn't go as intended to Austin. Here in defense, back to Momani. Who's been marshalling this uh, Tasca defense so well this afternoon, if you ask me. Played here for Ateka Thomas. Samu Juicy one two touches by Tasca in midfield. Amfri Mieno doesn't really have that one going. Goes down by Judge Bonfas. Now finds Luasa. Luasa now takes Momani. Luasa takes Momani, but uh, the ball goes out. Yes, Momani is really on duty. And I can see a Tasca player down. Tasca have Omar Rogers down. And today, Omar Rogers seems to have collected himself up and is uh, able to continue with the game. Well, Gormaya win a throw in. Thirty minutes already played here at the Nyan National Stadium. A good throw in given there to Omala, but then uh, again uh, cleared out by Mumani. A long one, and Dennis Jire is here, controlled so well. Not able again to really do it. And a uh, one on one here, Dennis Njire. Tasca win uh, their third corner of this uh, game. Roger Zouma is also coming in. As usual, Levin Joseph will come, and somebody is down here. Gormaya have a player down, and that is supposed to be Benson. Omala. Omala uh, seems to be in pain and uh, the team doctors are rushing there together with the center referee. This is... Uh, it, was, it was an incident off the ball and uh, sometimes uh, happenings like this in a field of play don't really go well. And at that very, very time I can see Patrick Cadu warming up uh, just in case Benson Omala will not be able to continue in this encounter. It is match number 31 of the Kenya Premier League. Tasca FC playing at home. And Gormaya fans, the Green Army, have come here in droves. It's uh, a good sign of things. And uh, they are giving uh, the number two of push for the team. Uh, I can see Patrick Cadu goes to warm. Alpha, the same... And uh, let's see if Omala will be able to continue. Let's see if Omala will be able to continue here. It is uh, minute number 33, and I can see the centre referee informing the team doctors to carry or stretch him off the field for treatment. Well, uh, it's not really known, and uh, I can see all the branches here uh, for Gormaya. There is also Kogalo Super 7. This is the Kogalo Super 7 branch, which uh, is uh, also there. I also see another branch here that uh, is uh, noted here. Kitengela branch as well uh, is well represented here for Gormaya. Tika branch is as well here, and uh, it's a show of solidarity with the team. And this is the Green Army traveling. The Kisumu team is also in here, and uh, Omala seems to have gotten a knock on his face from the look of things. And uh, well, is he, he goes out, and uh, the corner kick will be taken now. The centre referee now rushing toward the Gormaya side to just uh, whistle the corner to be taken. Levin Joseph 
will uh, do duty to secure the third corner of the game. And now, this corner will be taken. A long one again finds Momani there, headed out. But uh, an infringement has been spotted in the goal mouth. Again, I wonder why Momani wins all the balls, all the corners. Something that is supposed to trouble Gormaya defenders because he seems to be winning all the corners of this match. Now Gada plays a long one. Again, Momani stands out. And uh, really, who will beat Momani today? Because Momani seems to be everywhere. Momani seems to be everywhere in this encounter. And now a throw-in has been uh, is taken by Gormaya's side. Given to Bajaj Bonfas. Bajaj, who plays Austin. Uh, Austin uh, finds the ball. But uh, the experience of Humphrey Mieno really runs him off the ball. And a good one now. This one is a good one. Uh, and now he has it there. Another one good one. How long? This one should be a goal, but now is well defended again by Tasca. Well taken by Austin, but again well defended by Tasca. It was a ball that needed a serious execution, but then uh, it's becoming more interesting from time to time now. Dennis Njire plays Sylvester Wino in defense. Gormaya will be launching another attack. And now back to guard the goalkeeper. Guard plays Njire, Dennis. Njire now plays again here to look for Omala. Omala gets the ball, runs, but uh, the ball goes out for a throw. The ball goes out for a throw. And Thomas Ateka throws it to Buire. Buire Brian. Back to Thomas Ateka. Played well. And I can see Thomas Ateka is lying on the ground. Something seems to be very wrong here. And now Luasa Peter. Luasa takes a long one, uh, but uh, goes off. Just why didn't Luasa play this ball with his colleagues in the box? Where Thomas Ateka is on the ground. He seems to have been knocked. Uh, I can see the referee calling Luasa, meaning uh, he must have been the culprit here. So Luasa is there. And Thomas Ateka is being attended to by the medics. He comes up, and the game will proceed. It's a goal kick to be taken by the Tasker side. Kevin Buire in Tasker side. Goal will uh, now be taking uh, this one here. Again, not well taken, but uh, headed. Uh, back to God Matthews. God Matthews again uh, does a fast one but uh, really finds nobody in particular. Sydney Wahongo here. Has been uh, really <laughs> checkmated by Eric Mata. Eric Mata really has been so hard on Sydney Wahongo. The ball has been taken so fast here and uh, it has uh, Owino, Owino looking for his captain uh, really doesn't go well. Uh, and uh, a throw-in has been executed. A very fast counter-attack is coming here. But Sylvester Owino stands tall. Another throw-in, a fast one here. Played very fast. Tasker here, on the verge here. And in the, uh, another call here, but then, uh, oh my God, off the woodworks. And Jufri Cheng Simiti saves Gormaya day here. Gormaya's day has been saved by Jufri Cheng Simiti, who has intercepted a clear goal bound Roger Zouma. And Roger Zouma has uh, 
in the process been injured. That was a ferocious attack from uh, Siwa Shapana and uh, God clearly well beaten in goal. The rebound was supposed to be taken again by Roger Zouma, but then Simiti Joffrey arriving just in time. And well, 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 for Gormaya, that is scaring. And Tasca are reminding Gormaya that they are here for business and nothing but the business here. So I can see Rogers again uh, still down, but he comes up. He comes up and he will continue. It's a goal kick. It's a goal kick now. A long one here. Omala not able to really deal with it. And uh, Dennis Njire has the ball. Dennis Njire wins it. However, it's a throw in. Well, in terms of uh, uh, chances, Tasca has gotten the better chances here in this first half of the game. And uh, now, uh, Moni Kevin throws uh, that. And uh, a chase will be given here. To Mieno in midfield. Dennis Njiri stands tall again. Omala slips off the ball. And Enes Wendo has the ball now. Enes Wendo easily dispossessed again in midfield. And uh, the ball uh, seems to be not so well coordinated in the way it's being played right now. Tasca doing well in midfield. Amfri Mieno with the ball. Amfri Mieno now releases uh, Mata Eric. Mata Eric. Mata Eric versus uh, Geoffrey Ocheng Simiti. Amfri Mieno with the ball. Amfri Mieno with the ball again. He takes a long one there. Headed out by the captain, uh, Philemon Otinombish. Joseph Levin. But... Uh, the second official says uh, it is uh, offside. Well, uh, we are doing uh, the 42nd minute of the game. The game still standing at uh, nil nil. Game still standing at nil nil. Everybody in the country is looking at this game today, watching this game. Just wanting to know how it will go because uh, whoever wins here and uh, Boniface Bajaj gives uh, a rather lousy, lousy cross. Crosses are meant to really be chances. You don't just give them. And Ernest Wendell plays uh, back to his uh, keeper. Guard. Sydney Waongo Angs, but uh, not successfully. Amfri Mieno has the ball. And they're playing some nice football here at Asuka FC. Doing a long one, and it's offside. Quick one has been taken now here. Philemon Otieno is brought down. Well, this is going to be a free kick. A foul has been committed to Philemon. And Philemon will be taking this. Play Sylvester. Sylvester finds uh, Njire Dennis. Dennis Njire loops uh, a nice one. But then Luasa plays it. Goes out. Thomas Taker plays it out. And it will be a throw in. This throw in is at the position where. It is so much fancied or what? No, it's going to be a foul. Austin will be doing duty here to take the foul. Austin Odiambo with Bajaj.
And a long one has been given there. It's supposed to be go. But then, uh, uh, again, the Tusker defense stands tall and uh, now takes it out. This is now dangerous for Gorma here. Shoots, but then uh, Siwa Shapan had a clear chance with the goalkeeper to beat, but then he shoots wide. Joffrey Ochinsimiti dispossessed here. And the Tusker fans are loving it every minute. Tusker fans are loving this every minute from the stands. Dennis Njire. Takes a long one looking for Omala. Omala jumps. Luasa finds it. Luasa plays uh, Austin. Austin has the ball. Austin has the ball. Austin, Austin has the ball. Austin has the ball. Austin has the ball. Plays the ambition. But goalkeeper Buire takes it. Phil Monotieno should have shot hard. He seemed to have been giving a pass. The ball goes out. It will be a throw in. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is a Kenya Premier League encounter pitting the two top sides in Kenya Premier League and it is attack after attack. It is interesting to see just how it goes. And now the fourth official indicates it's two minutes of added time in this first half. Buire in goal now. Brian Buire takes a long one here. And now Geoffrey Simiti Ochieng again plays and gives the ball away so easily. Omala is uh, offside and uh, can't really chase the ball. Well, uh, two minutes to play in the first half. It's still nil-nil. Tasuka enjoying this. A long one in uh, but uh, goes out for a goal kick. Matano, the coach, the Lion, doesn't seem to be happy about how his players uh, uh, are giving some very careless kind of uh, passes. And then it's Jire now. Jire here finds Luasa. Luasa with the ball. Luasa is handled. And now Humphrey Mieno and the guard Matthews goes out for the ball. A quick one has been taken to Bajaj. Boniface Mondi. Boniface Mondi now wields the ball. He's taking a long run. Boniface Mondi plays Luasa. Luasa brings in, but then Kevin Buire. Kevin Buire saves the day for Tasca. It's an interesting game. And now Ernest Wendo charges Mata Eric off the ball. And the referee says, this is a foul. The referee says, this is a foul. Well, uh, if you're joining us right now, we are playing the last minute of this game in the first half. A very interesting encounter, a Kenya Premier League encounter, pitting Gormaia and uh, Tasca. And with that, we break for half time. It's nil-nil here at the National Stadium of Nyayo. And uh, these teams will be rushing to the dressing rooms. And you know, for Gormaia, a draw here would not really be pleasant for them. For Tasca, a draw would be magnificent for them. Yes, we'll be taking a break as well. We'll be back with this encounter in the second half. I've been uh, your commentator this through. My name is Nico Kelo.
Yes, uh, welcome, welcome once again. Well, uh, I'm uh, told uh, it's now going to be the game of wits pitting Gormai uh, versus uh, Tasca FC. Though Tasca FC are at home, this is their match day. And uh, yes, let's see what's happened. Both teams have not made any significant changes to the first uh, half squad and therefore it tells uh, that uh, they still want to keep the tactical discipline that the coaches began with. As it is right now, it still stands at uh, nil-nil for both Gormaya and uh, uh, Tasca FC. This is the top of the league clash, uh, number one and number two in the league, separated by just one point, and uh, that is what Gormaya is seeking to undo this afternoon. Uh, Tasca seeking to just have the status quo remain as it is, because the status quo is uh, an advantage to them and uh, well uh, I'll uh, again uh, be taking you through this match in the next 45 minutes now Tasca playing uh, from right to left go from left to right well uh, I can see already Gormai uh, are warming up players indication that uh, perhaps uh, they would be having uh, an early substitution in the game. Tasca FC have not made any changes so far and the center referee is right there. So if you're joining us right now, the second half is about to kick off. And uh, as we kick off right now, it's uh, an important aspect also note that uh, these teams have really had 96 games played uh, in their entire lifetime and now Gormaya uh, have begun the match and it is now Bonfasa uh, Bajaj. Bajaj with the ball given to Ernest Wendo. Wendo gives uh, a rather uh, clumsy cross uh, that goes direct to goalkeeper for Tasca Kevin Buire. Buire has the ball. Buire takes uh, a high one into the midfield. Sydney Wahongo has it. Luasa Peter. Luasa Peter with the ball now. Luasa plays one two, but then uh, really misses out his pass with uh, Ocheng Joffrey. The deputy captain of Gormaya side. Amfri Mieno with the ball in midfield now. Amfri Mieno with the ball played. Uh, then now uh, Levin Joseph again here with the ball. Takes uh, a good one, uh, but uh, Dennis Njire plays uh, well. Uh, still not out of danger yet for Gormai, uh, but uh, the cruise goes out. Well, uh, two outstanding players here for Tasca Levin Joseph and uh, Mumanye today have really impressed. I can see Dennis Njire go down Dennis Njire go down there. But again, is up, ready for the task. Omala out jumps. Uh, the ball goes to Brian Buire. Well, uh, Benson Omala seems to be having a cut. Mbish, Wahongo. Bonfast Bajaj. Bonfast Bajaj has the ball. Bajaj plays a good one to Omala. Omala with the ball. A good cut in there, but uh, going to play that, but doesn't really do it well. Austin should have just, uh, well, Luasa, I mean, should have just scored because he had the goalkeeper with him. And now Tasca will be giving the opposite side uh, nightmares again. But God Matthews comes out. But of the two sides, the best chance was that of uh, Peter Luasa, who was spotted so well by Benson Omala and should have just shot in goal. I wonder why again it didn't go like that. And uh, an infringement has been spotted here. It will be a free kick to be taken towards Tasca side. Let's see how it goes out. Well, again, both teams showing that uh, 
they are here for business in this very early stages of second half. And now, Dennis Njire is here. I can see Austin. And uh, the referee seemed to be communicating something. And now he's counting his normal 10 yards. And the Tusker defense has been asked to push back. Well, Gormaya has three players on the ball. Dennis Njire, Austin Odiambo, and uh, Bajaj. Let's see now what happens here. Not well executed. Not well executed. Gore should have done better than that. It was a chance that they should have done better than that. It's now a throw-in to be taken by Gormaya towards uh, the Tasker side. Taken all the way back to God Matthews in goal. God Matthews will play Dennis Njire here. Njire again here takes and lobs a long one that uh, really goes out. Brian Buire now begins here with Levin Joseph, jersey number five for Tasca. A very exciting player if you ask me today. A good turn here now. A good turn here for Tasca. But uh, Geoffrey Ocheng clears the danger in Gormaya goal. Geoffrey Ocheng again. Gormaya now have the ball. Dispossessed. And a good shot here given. And now Luasa would really go. Now it is Bajaj. It is Bajaj. Takes a good one here. But uh, really to nobody. Really to nobody. Very fast game here. And already Tasca launching an attack in midfield. Taken so well. Good cross that uh, has been well defended by Geoffrey Ocheng. As usual, this should be a long throw that will be taken by Thomas at uh, Thomas Taker. Thomas Taker here. Launching here, a throw in. But again here. Interesting, interesting. So interesting. A miscued shot by Goro defenders lands into a Tasker player head. He heads it but slightly off target. And uh, Gore have lived uh, by the edge with that. A long one that really doesn't uh, trouble anybody here. Dennis Njire seeking to find Bajaj. But this uh, style of their play doesn't really seem to be coordinating well right now. And uh, here is the game. Simiti now wins the ball to Luasa. And Bajaj has the ball. Bajaj has the ball. Bajaj has the ball. But doesn't really uh, make the ultimate shot to complete uh, his uh, nice move. Bajaj with the shot. Now Sydney Wahongo. Sydney Wahongo has won a throw in. Rather, not a throw in, but uh, it's uh, a foul. I can see Tasca players are not happy with the uh, lineman. They seem uh, uh, to be having uh, some bones to pick with the lineman for having offered or rather awarded that foul to the teams, to the team Gorma here. Dennis Njire here again will be responsible to do this. And now, Dennis Njire brings one here that uh, is added for a corner. Is added for a corner. But the referee seems to be pointing out that it's a goal kick. It's a corner, even from where we are seated. 
we can really tell it was a corner. And that corner <laughs> was uh, executed by Siwa Shepardner. And then, you know, again, in this game of football, the referee has the ultimate call. And it doesn't really matter what you see. It is the referee's call that really remains the ultimate one. And uh, a long one has been taken here again for Tasca. Sylvester Wino doing a long one here. Badly, badly executed. And Omala is now dashing for it. Goalkeeper Brian uh, really arrives there in time to clear the danger. A throw in for Goma here. Already given out. Dennis Njere plays a long one. Miscued by Amfri Mieno into the midfield. And Bajaj now wins the ball. Bonifaso Mundi Bajaj wins the ball here. Runs so well on the other flank. Does so well there, but uh, intercepted uh, greatly. The ball is on. And Bajaj has the ball now. He brings a good one here. Headed here, but uh, cleared by Tasca again. Sydney Wahongo doesn't play well. Uh, and uh, releases the ball to the opponent. And now... Njiro Dennis has the ball, played so well, and it's a foul. Well, uh, it is a row of disapproval from the Tasca fans, and they feel the referee is uh, really getting hard on his calls against them, and uh, now it's uh, interesting. Dennis Njiro releases this one to his captain, uh, Philemon Otieno. Philemon Otieno has the ball. Plays uh, Boniface. Boniface Mundi gives a long one here, but uh, uh, not able to really do what uh, he intended to. And Brian Buire in goal will uh, now have to do a goal kick. Well, uh, such an interesting encounter here at the National Stadium, or uh, rather, near National Stadium. Sydney Wawongo with the ball now. Sydney Wawongo with the ball, but doesn't really get uh, Bajaj in time. Well headed out. Sylvester, oh, you know, uh, Bajaj, and rather, uh, that is uh, Ocheng Joffrey. Tasca plays the ball out, and now Joffrey Cheng Simiti will uh, get there to give a throw in. He does a quick one, gives it to Austin. Austin goes down, but the referee just waves play on. Yes, uh, Sylvester Owino playing Bonfas, but then Joseph uh, Levin uh, heads it out to Bonifaz Omondi, who goes down, but this time round is not lucky to get uh, that call from uh, the second official. Levin Joseph plays back to his goalkeeper, Brian Buire. Buire launches a long one that uh, doesn't fight anybody but Dennis Njire on the Gormaya side. Njire, Dennis. Luasa. Luasa to Austin. Austin has the ball. Austin Odiambo. Austin Odiambo has the ball. Austin Odiambo. But goes out. It goes out. And now it will be a goal kick. Taken. There. And Simiti plays so well to this possess. Now a good one there, but Mumani again. Mumani again playing like four defenders to just deny Austin Odiambo. Today, Mumani has had a good day in office. And Mr. Mumani is really keeping Gormaya strikers at bay with his good timings, good tackles, and his aerial duels. This is nice for a defender. And now a throw in has been taken to by Gormaya. And uh, it goes out. 
the referee points at uh, a throw in again. A throw in has been taken here by Gormaya. Given to Simiti Joffrey. Joffrey plays the ball awfully out of play. He used his right foot, which is uh, the weaker one. And now, Buire has the ball. Omala makes a, a, a run, uh, but uh, doesn't really go well. Uh, and uh, Loasa fouls Joseph Levin. Goalkeeper Buire will now be lining to take this foul. It does a long one that uh, Njiro Dennis plays so well. I'm Fremieno in midfield. Sylvester Owino. I'm Fremieno again. Plays some uh, nice football with Omar Rogers. A good cross, but then uh, a corner that is won by Tasca. Well, uh, Tasca having their corner number four in this game this afternoon. And as usual, it will be Levin, Joseph, and Gormaya players should look out for Momanyi. Momanyi, Momanyi. I can see Momanyi here. And now this one is added out. A throw in that has been taken so fast. Uh, it's Levin there, but uh, the ball goes out. It will be a throw for Goma here. Yeah. Taken so fast. Dennis Jiri there. Brings a long one in midfield. That again. Uh, a foul has been committed. And uh, Gormaya will be now on the receiving end. Amfri Ocheng Mieno will be the one to do duty in handling uh, this uh, free kick. Amfri Mieno here. Takes a long one. But uh, Momanyi adds it out. Yes, just like I said, uh, Momanyi seems to be winning all aerial balls in this encounter, be it on the offensive or on the defensive. And uh, it's uh, a good testament to uh, somebody of his stature. And a good one now here. It would go direct to goalkeeper. At, a mo uh, <laughs> at one moment, it appeared that uh, Austin Odiambo was uh, closing in on the ball. But again, uh, Buire came off his lines just in time to deal with that. Not well uh, cleared by Gormaya. And now Tasca would put an attack. Amfri Mieno. Mieno here. Trying an attack. A nice one, but again... Uh, Intercepted by Gormaya. Intercepted now. And uh, now Bonfas would really run for this. And uh, Momanyi once again saves the day for Tasca on that run of play. And this is a pure defensive genius, if you ask me. Well, I must say today, Momanyi has been standing between uh, Gormaya and uh, Tasca in a splendid way, in a splendid manner. It's an institute defending, if you ask me, because if you miss that, maybe now, maybe now, something else would be the scoreline, not nil-nil. Now this corner will be taken by Osino Diambo. And Osino Diambo will be coming out for Alpha in this encounter. A good corner taken here, but it is given out by the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper actually parried it out. And now, Gormaya will be having their first sub of the day. Alpha Unyango in JZ8 
seems to be preparing to come in uh, for Austin Odiambo in JZ7. Yes, and now it's time to execute uh, that change. Alpha comes in. And Sydney Waongo then will now push forward because Alpha will uh, assist uh, Ernest Wendo. So Sydney Waongo will uh, be pushed to Austin's position to now be part of the playmaking. And the ball is here, given so well. And now Omala has the ball. How will he play it? Omala shoots awfully out. Awfully out. Well won there. Nice football. And on that stretch, it seems uh, the Gormaya player must have pulled a muscle here. The Gormaya player must have pulled a muscle here. Seems to be coming up. Uh, is it Ernest Wendo? Yeah, it is Ernest Wendo. The Kifaru guy. The Buffalo himself. He seemed to have committed himself so deeply in that. And uh, in it, he won a free kick for his team. And Dennis Njire will be doing duty on that assignment. Mr. Dennis Njire is preparing to have this. Dennis brings a long one here, but uh, it's, it comes back here. And it's a goal. It's, uh, it's not a, still scrambled before here. Doesn't really go in. It comes back. It's a goal. Now, handball. There is an open handball in this game. <laughs> Gormaya players think this should be a penalty. The referee thinks otherwise. Another attack here on the side of Tasca. Gormaya now piling more pressure here. And uh, Philemon Otieno shoots off target. I mean, I wonder how it's not 1 0 at this point. I wonder it's not 1 0 at this point. Boniface Omondi headed that, it was scrambled off the line in a gold mouth melee. And again, brought back again the field of play by Luasa. And uh, <laughs> football is difficult. I tell you, football is no joke. What look like very nice and easy goals are never easy when you are in there. Mama, you play here. Sylvester Wino clear the line. Sini Waongo gives a push. Levin Joseph. Thomas Ateka. Thomas Ateka here once again. And by judge now, this one looks bad. And uh, well, uh, it is uh, now God Matthews who came in to support. Levin Joseph plays that. Bajaj comes in to help. And uh, again, Levin Joseph will be giving a throw on this. Let's see how it goes. Uh, water break. Well, it's a water break. And just like I said, these results as they look right now are not good for Gormaya. So Gormaya really have to go out and find uh, uh, a goal if they must remain in contention for this uh, Kenya Premier League title that for some long, long period of time they had uh, in their grip until it slipped off given uh, the number of games they played. Well... Uh, it's water break.
Yes, and the game begins right away before even other side uh, is ready for <laughs> the game. And uh, Simiti pulls it out. Omala here fighting the ball uh, with uh, Thomas Teka. Thomas Teka gets the better of him and uh, is uh, going out for a field of play. Already thrown in again for Omala. Omala goes down. That's a foul from Alpha Onyango. Thomas Teka here in jersey number 40. Takes a long one in the box. Not well cleared. And Tasca will be launching a serious attack here. And it's a goal. It's an offside, not a goal. It's an offside, <laughs> not a goal, rather. It's an offside. Well, uh, just like... Uh, <laughs> I can see Matano is not happy here. Tasca coach not happy at all about that call for offside. The ball went in straight into goal and into the net. I also thought at one time that it was uh, a clean goal. But yes, that is the way football is. And Dennis Njiri now in midfield will be launching this here. To his uh, strikers. Njiri takes a long one here. That is not well cleared by Tasca in goal. Again here. But uh, it's handball. Omala handles in uh, the box. And uh, it will be a free kick. Buire Kevin in goal for Tasca. Added by Onyango Alpha. Mumanyi replies. A tussle between uh, Simiti. That's a foul on Alpha. Well, uh, Gormaya, I better now get this thing very right because it is them uh, who this score doesn't favor at all. And now this is Bonifacio Mundi. And uh, he's been elbowed. And that is a yellow card to Joseph Levin, who has had a rather beautiful game, if you ask me, this afternoon. Joseph uh, Levin really has had a good game good good game together with the momani in this task side and uh, now he elbows uh, boniface Mondi, and matano here seems to be furious about every decision taken by the referee matano the lion seems to be very furious here doing just everything about it let's see now what goes on here it would be a foul to be taken by Gormaia and Dennis Njire will be on duty. Well, he can now take his free kick straight to the keeper. Uh, Dennis Njire went for power and shot straight to the keeper. And Buire did so well to handle that. Now, an interesting encounter here between the goalkeeper Gad Matthews <laughs> and Rogers Ouma. <laughs> Before he, he made his uh, goal kick go, it was intercepted by Rogers. And the referee says now there's uh, an infringement. Now he takes it, plays so well. He now uh, 
and the referee play waves play on. Yes, with uh, some 15 minutes to go to the end of this encounter. Omala is down again on that first infringement that uh, he must have got. And on that very, very moment, at that very, very time, I can say, uh, Blackberry of the Ambo also getting ready to come in. Perhaps coming in for Luasa now. Coming in for Luasa. And now Omala might not be able to really continue from what uh, seems to be happening. Yes, Loasa goes out for Blackberry Odiambo. Loasa goes out for Blackberry Odiambo. And Omala is now led out of the field of play. Remember, he's still the top scorer in the Kenya Premier League, still with the 25 goals this season. And Jojo Diambo Blackberry comes in now for Luasa. As Omala continues to get his treatment, Tasca are also launching uh, what is supposed to be their substitution. And uh, I can see Jesse number 13, Ojok, who is the top scorer from the Tusker side. I can also see Jesse 11, Luvanda Lawrence, who is also preparing to come in. And uh, it seems this is the moment now. Sylvester Wino, Joseph Levin. Tasca with the ball now. Lobbing a strong one into the box, but Geoffrey Ocheng refuses and heads it off the danger zone. Tasca again doing uh, some juicy one to touches here, and a cross would be launched here. And now this is uh, dangerous for Gorma here uh, because uh, Rogers has the ball, and Levin plays a uh, hard one. Well, uh, Eric Mata to me seems to be the candidate for a substitution. Now, God Matthews in Gormaya goal plays a big one out of the field of play, really looking for Bonfas Omondi. I wonder why. Bonfaso Mondi here. Now Levin Joseph. And the throw in that I thought was supposed to be for Gormaya now goes for Tasca. Omala is back into the field of play, but he uh, seems to be limping. Seems to be limping. Patrick Cardo is preparing to come in now. And uh, seemingly Patrick Cardo will be coming in for Boniface Bajaj. Out of the field of play. And now Tasca can have their substitutions on. Well, they are making three substitutions. Boniface Omondi. Boniface Omondi. Wendo here. Wendo seems to be going for Humphrey Mieno. Tasca now will uh, bring in uh, Njuguna John.
They also bring uh, Luvanda Lawrence. And they bring in Ojok, who is their top scorer at this moment. Gormaya will also be doing uh, a sub here, and Omala seems not able to continue in this encounter. Is uh, limping off with a, a plaster on his face. He can't continue, and now it is Patrick Kadu who will be coming in the place of Omala. Kairu comes in for Omala now. As Levin Joseph prepares to make a throw in here for Tasca, which he does. Does so fast. But then, uh, well, uh, handled by Gorma here. Ball played all the way to keeper Brian Buire. To Momani, to Brian Buire again. And it's now time Tasca would want really to the clock to roll so that they have this. Geoffrey Ching releases that one. And as foul has been committed towards the Saska side, towards Gormaya side rather. And Sydney Waongo seems to have gotten so hard on uh, Luvanda Lawrence who's just come in. And now Tasca will use their free kick taker Joseph uh, Levin. And I can see their fans really getting nice the nice feeling from the Tasca side. Their fans are loving every moment of it. And it's interesting. Now, Levin Joseph takes this one. And uh, God Matthews punches it off for a corner. Fifth corner for Gormaria now. For, for Tasca FC. And again, it is uh, Joseph Levin in Jersey 5 who will be doing uh, that duty. A corner is taken here now. There's a long one here that uh, is not well uh, executed by Gormaya. And now Alpha Onyango comes out. And the referee will flash his yellow card on this. And Alpha will be booked right away for a high boot here. Alpha is going to be booked for a high boot. And now, Captain Amfri Ocheng Mieno is there. I can see Levin as well. And now they'll be planning how to deal with this now. George Blackberry Odiambo and Bonfaso Mondi will uh, provide uh, the human wall needed. God uh, now shouting his voice out. And Amphi Mieno here. Amphi Mieno here. Luvanda Lawrence and Joseph Levin are all here. And now Joseph Levin lifts that and uh, God uh, goes out. It doesn't really get in. This one really not yet cleared by Gormaia. Again, uh, played out for goal kick and the goalkeeper God Matthews goes down on his knees 
signaling something is uh, wrong again here. The medics have been called in to try and help out in this. Okay, Gada comes up. With five minutes to go in this encounter, it's becoming uh, a game that Tasca would really love to have. Taken here by Alpha. Alpha here. Dennis Njire lifts uh, a long one to Bajaj. And uh, now Bonfasobondi not able again to execute that cross. And a good one now here. Omondi, Bonifaz Omondi, and this one doesn't go in. And you wonder why. Bonifaz Omondi should have shot in goal instead of giving a cross to nobody. The ball goes again to Tasca side, and it is pressure mounting here. Dennis Njire plays the ball out, and uh, Bonifaz Omondi goes down in serious pain off the ball off the ball and he seems to have gotten a, a bad one seems to have gotten a bad injury is it, is it not an injury rather but he seems to have pulled the muscle off after making that run and uh, uh, following that shoot he seems to have uh, pulled the muscle you can see the captain going there just to check if everything is right with the player. And uh, with uh, some four minutes to play in this game, Tasca are enjoying every minute, every bit of it. Tasca will be okay with this encounter the way it looks. Gormaya, on the other, on the other hand, will uh, really look bad if they can't mount any win here today. Bonfaso Mundi seems ready to continue in this game. The ball goes and now Blackberry, George Blackberry with the ball wins a throw in. Blackberry has the ball, dispossessed. Tasca not really. And now this would be a good execution that God will take immediately. And God goes down. The referee is hit by the ball. <laughs> in his very first release of the ball God hits the referee from behind and now this game will have to restart again the game restarts and it is now Dennis Njire on the ball Mr. Njire here finding Blackberry not able to control so well Blackberry and it's a foul well, uh, we are in the dying minutes of this encounter here at the Nyan National Stadium where Gormaya and uh, Tasca FC are still uh, barren. They've just played uh, all these minutes to a draw and uh, looks juicy for Tasca but troubling for Gormaya. Joseph Levine with the ball. Still not able to execute the ball finds his way and crosses the ball in and Amfri Mieno shoots wide. Oh my, his experience, his experience should have actually done better with that. It is a goal kick now and God Matthews will launch a long one here. God Matthews does it. Mumani once again. Sylvester Owino, Wendo, Philemon, Bonfasomondi, 
Alfa. Lorenz Luvanda. Alpha mixes himself up in this. And Tasca will now be attacking Gormaya in this very late minute of the game. And now Amfri Mieno finds Luvanda. Luvanda here brings one, but uh, again, uh, Jufri Ocheng stands tall. Joseph Levin again finds Luvanda, and the ball goes out for, the f uh, for a goal kick. Played so fast by Gard. And now Sidney Wahongo not able to deal with this game. And is dispossessed so easily again here. And God Matthews will handle that very well. And now Patrick Cadu is taking a chase here. Patrick Cadu and wins. I thought he won uh, a corner on this. <laughs> I thought he won a corner on this. Tasca now launching the next attack here. In the very dying minutes of the game, and Amfri Mieno is here. Four minutes to play. Four minutes to play in this encounter. And Tasca here. And good cross is taken here, but uh, God Matthews comes out and saves the day for Gormaya. Still another attack. On Gormaya's side. And Tasca determined to get this now. Tasca with the ball here. Played so well. Almost uh, going out. And uh, God has it. He looks for Patrick Cadu. Cadu not able to deal with that. Geoffrey Ching. Ching plays Alpha. Alpha Alpha's the ball. Plays Ching again. Ocheng opens here and finds uh, Bonfaz. Bonfaz has the ball. Sydney Wahongo. Sydney plays uh, the ball way out. Way out. Way out. Well, uh, it is uh, minute number 87. Uh, 90, uh, 90 seconds now. Two minutes to go in this encounter. And now Buire comes out to clear the lines. Played here to Njuguna John. Njuguna John brings one here. Again, towards Gormaya side. Amfri Mieno. And Mieno uh, takes. Uh, it doesn't go out still. The ball is in. Is in. Played here by Tasca once again. Joseph Levin. Uh, Joseph Levin here finding uh, John. Uh, and John uh, plays it out. Big, really. Sidney Wahongo vying for the ball here. Sidney Wahongo with the ball. Dispossessed again. It is with Tasca. The referee says uh, it's an infringement. And Alpha is the culprit. Well, uh, one minute to go in this encounter. One minute to go in this encounter at National Stadium here, uh, near National Stadium. And Amfri Mieno will take the last one of, a, of them. Taken there, cleared by Sylvester Owino. Amfri Mieno heads it, cleared again by Geoffrey Ocheng. Headed so well. And now, Bonfazo Che, Bonfazo Mondi, Bonfazo Mondi, he doesn't sell. Oh my God. Bonfazo Omondi with the goalkeeper in the dying minutes, not able to execute any proper ball on this. And it is embarrassing, to say the least. Bonfazo Omondi, again he has the ball. Bonfazo Omondi. Bonfazo Omondi here. Oh my God. He had every chance, every acre to do well with the game. Oh, my, 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 my. 
Well, uh, well, uh, well, well. A throw in by Enes Tuendo. Leaves for the captain. And this game would end any time now. This game would end any time now. It's a foul. Bonfas Omondi with a glorious opportunity. Bonfas Omondi not able to execute the ball. Oh, wh wh what else would you say? What else would you say? What else would one say? This might be the last kick of this game. This should be the last kick of this game. Taken by Mr. Dennis Njire. And now here Dennis Njire goes. And it is Tasca clear the alliance. And that's the end of this encounter at Nyayo National Stadium. Gormaya Nil, Tasca Nil. What a game it has been. And those chances, those chances, especially for Gormaya will haunt them tonight. I've been your commentator, Nico Kelo, all this long. With my entire crew here, we say bye-bye for now till uh, we meet again uh, against Karubangi Sharks. This has been Gormaya TV. Thank you very much. Let's meet then.